Hi guys, this is Pam. Okay, I just want to say real quick before you start watching the video. I mean, you're already watching it. Anyway, I already finished uh, making, uh, recording the video, but I just realized that I actually have Cheeto fingers. Yes, I admit, I confess, I did have Cheetos right before I <laughs> recorded the video and I didn't see it. I did wash my hands. Uh, we just came back from watching Lego Movie 2 with the family and we had those Cheeto popcorn. That's so awesome. Anyway, before you say something down in the comment section below, yes, I confess I have Cheeto fingers and I did wash my hands. So anyway, I just want to say that real quick and enjoy the video. Bye-bye. this is Pam and uh, welcome to my channel okay so I don't have a review for you today but I do have a list of 10 popular designer fragrances for women um, that I don't want to buy and uh, uh, first of all I do want to say that I hope I don't offend anybody because these perfumes I don't it's not like I don't find them uh, that it's not like they don't smell good um, I think they do smell good. Actually, there are uh, a few here that actually is really good. But as I go down the list, um, I'm going to let you know as to why I don't particularly want to buy that particular perfume. And this is not in any order. Um, it's not like from least to, to most or something like that. Um, anyway, let's get started. Okay, so number one, um, I have actually reviewed this perfume and I do think that it smells good, but um, I, just, I just easily get tired of it. It's not something I want to keep smelling over and over again, and that is Flower Bomb. So Flower Bomb is my number one um, by Victor and Rolf. I don't know. It, first of all the name flower bomb to me it's not really that floral to my nose um, I find it um, kind of cloying at some point like it smells good but then I get the gist of it like okay that smells good but I then but then I already know how it smells and then like I'm done with it so number one is flower bomb um, and flower bomb wise, I actually think that the new flanker flower bomb bloom is the actual more floral one. So if you if you're looking into flower bomb because you know the name suggests very floral, um, I suggest that you test out flower bomb bloom. Okay, my second one, um, and I know a lot of people like this. Again, once again, um, if any of you have a uh, any of this perfume or you know it's something that you want to buy or something that you do like I really hope that I don't offend you again and this is just my thoughts and opinions um, you know my personal preferences please feel free to uh, go ahead and get any of these if this is something if any of these appeal to you okay so my next one is by the house of YSL and that is black opium okay <sighs> Black opium to me, it smells very good. It does. But then af after a while, it doesn't seem that special to me. Like, I, I don't really find anything special about it, although it does smell very nice. I think it's very mass appealing. I think it's something that's very versatile, good for the office, for casual wear. Um, I also think that it will make a good... A, a signature scent but at the same time I just don't find it special you know like nothing about it uh, stands out to me um, you know it's something that I can easily forget but that's me um, yeah so black opium smells very nice but not that special so that's why I that I wouldn't buy I wouldn't buy that okay my fourth one is a tie and that's by the house of Dior. Um, did I say fourth one? No, we're just on the third one. Okay. Uh, 
I'm sorry, erase that. Okay, so first one, flower bomb. Second one is uh, black opium. And the third one actually is still by the house of YSL, and that is Mong Pari. Okay, Mong Pari. Hmm. I had high hopes for this one because, you know, it seems very popular. Like a lot of people like it. But OMG, every time I try to test it, every time, every time, I, every time I spray it, I just can't make myself like it. First of all, the way Mong Pari smells to me is like grape juice, like literally grape juice. Like if you just get like Kool-Aid grape and then you just mix it in the pitcher and then just pour it down on your skin, like that's what Mong Pari smells like to me, just maybe a little better, like a better Kool-Aid grape juice. Or like, like if you squeeze grapes or like if you just buy grape juice, and then you just add a lot of white sugar to it. That's what Mong Pari smells like to me. It's just very grapey. Um, I guess just too much grapiness. That's why I, I just don't like it. Not that I don't like grapes. I do love grapes actually. But I just don't like that extreme amount of grapiness. Just burst of grapes and sugar. That's what Mong Pari is to me. But if you like it, awesome. I'm glad it works for you. <laughs> Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, now we're on the fourth one. Fourth one is by the House of the Year, and this is a tie, and that is um, Poison Girl and Hypnotic Poison. Okay, I think there are also a lot of people who like uh, Poison Girl and Hypnotic Poison. I think Hypnotic Poison, there's a lot of people who has that as their signature scent, or maybe planning to have it as their signature scent. Once again, I'm, I'm, I don't have this in my list, not because they don't smell good. It's just, you know, not that I, not, none of these I would just want to personally buy. So Poison Girl to me has that burst of Coca-Cola smell. So to me, I don't find that perfume me. I don't want my perfume or my fragrance to smell like soda pop. So Poison Girl to me is like a sweet Coke, sweet Coca-Cola. That's why I don't like it. Now, Hypnotic Poison actually is better. To, to me, if I compare the two, Hypnotic Poison is better. But I wouldn't still buy a Hypnotic Poison because it smells good on the initial spray in mid, but by on the dry down, it's gone. Like whatever it is that you like in the opening, once it gets to the dry down, it's gone. So I'm not gonna buy a perfume like that, you know, because you take away what I like about you. So that's number four. Number five is again by the House of Dior, and that's their latest flanker. Um, is it is it a flanker? I don't know. I don't know if it's a flanker or. Uh, a, anyway, it's Dior. It's. Dior Joy by Dior. Okay, this is somewhat of a disappointment because I love Dior. I love the house of Dior. Um, they make great perfumes, but Dior Joy or Joy, uh, there's just nothing about it. Uh, it's just slightly fruity, citrus. It is fresh, very fresh. Fresh, citrusy, slightly fruity. But then the citrusness to me is very tangy and not in a good way. It's just kind of sour with a slight fruitiness um, that's very fresh. I think the only good thing I like about it is the freshness. But then I really dislike the tanginess. Maybe on some people, it won't. it's not a sour on their skin. But to me, on my skin, when I test it, it's just meh. It's just like doesn't do anything. But... To me, I guess this is also why it's a disappointment because J'adore Dior is just such a classic, feminine, uh, citrus, fresh, fruity, mature scent. So if you're if you're trying to go for Dior, uh, I mean Joy Joy by Dior, just and you all you all already own J'adore Dior, just stick with that. Just stick with that. You can't get any better than that. I don't think any of the flankers is as good as the original J'adore Dior. 
So, um, where are we now? Six. Number six is C by Armani. Okay, I, this is also something I super want to want. Like I, I like I also tried my best to really like this perfume. I do not hate it, but I'm also not jumping up and down. Like it's sweet. Um, it also has that kind of beer scent to it. Um, you know, beer like if you spill it on your skin or on something, and then you wipe it off. Like whatever that remainder smell um, that's left on your skin or clothing, whatever, it has that note to me in Armani C or C Armani, C by Armani. Um, it's got that kind of yeasty beer scent that's slightly sweet, but then it's flat. Like beer to me has a fizz, it's fizzy. Um, and this one is even flat, it's like a flat beer. It's like a beer that's gone flat. So, yeah, that's why I don't want to buy it. Uh, okay, number seven. My number seven is a Chanel uh, um, Chanel Chance Au Tendre. Um, so they have different flankers. Um, they have the Eau Vive. They have just the Chanel Chance. And they have something else. Eau Fresh. So, um... Okay, the reason why I have this on my list, it's actually my favorite one um, out of all the Chance line, uh, the Autendre. I think it's the best smelling one, but why don't I wanna buy this? Actually, to be honest with you, I did buy this last year, the Eau de Toilette. When they just had Eau de Toilette, I loved it so much. <laughs> Excuse me. I loved it so much, it was love at first sniff. But then, oh my gosh, it only lasts for like 10 minutes. Like seriously, like you have to like dig your nose into your skin before you smell that goodness. And it's such a shame because it's such a beautiful, soft uh, scent. That uh, my, It is a soft scent, but it doesn't mean like you're just going to last for 10 minutes. Like really, that's not worth my money. I ended up only keeping it for a week and I had to return it to Sephora. Um, thank goodness for their return policy. Awesome, Sephora. Um, yeah, now they do have the perfume version. Chanel Chance Eau Tendre Eau de Parfum. And I was so excited, like, OMG, this is it. You know, the, the Chanel Chance Eau Tendre that I want, but in the perfume version, this is definitely going to last longer than the Eau de Toilette. OMG, I tried it so disappointed i'm so disappointed because actually i think the auto toilet even lasted better the auto toilet projected better and lasted a little bit longer it's true that the auto parfum has a, is a little bit more dense it has a little bit more thickness but other than that if you have the auto toilet chance uh, au tendre just stay with that. Just stick with that. Don't waste your money on the parfum, getting the parfum. I mean, of course, you can test it out for yourself because all of our skin and our, our noses are different. So, but, so I'm just sharing you my experience. I hope I'm not beating the mic too much. Okay, um, where were we? Okay. Number, I think we're on the number eight, right? Okay, number eight. Prada Candy. I love this perfume. When I sprayed this on for, for the first time, I was like head over heels. OMG, is this for real? Is this really how good this perfume is? So it's got that caramel, but not too sweet. Like you, uh, Prada candy, you would think, oh my gosh, it's gonna smell so, like, so much like candy. It's gonna be so sweet, I'm gonna hate it. But I was wrong, I sprayed it, I love it. I love, the caramel was so rounded, not too sweet. Um, it, it was beautiful, but then again, 10 minutes later, all that caramel goodness is gone. It's just you you're, uh, ended up with baby powder with a hint of caramel, and it was skin scent. 
that's why I won't, I won't buy Prada candy as much as I love that opening, that caramel. That's not too sweet, it's just like a perfect rounded balance of what a caramel scent should be. But then it went away, it fooled me. It was just like a fluke. What the heck is that? So that's why I won't get it. Too bad, I feel bad. But I found my new caramel scent. Um, which I'm planning to review in the near future. I'm not gonna say which one yet, but it's coming. So please hit that um, subscribe button and that bell button. So whenever I have a new review, you're gonna get it. You will be notified and you won't miss it. Okay, number nine is Marc Jacobs. Love. Is it love? Daisy Love. Okay, I love the Daisy perfume. I own, I personally own Daisy, the black bottle with the gold uh, flower. I've been wearing that for, I don't know, since maybe the year it came out. The, the perfume, um, not the other toilet. And I also own Daisy Oh So Fresh. Those are my top Marc Jacobs perfume to me. But Daisy Love smells good. Smells good. It's sweet. It's girly. It's feminine. It's a little musky, but then after wearing it for about a week, I was done. Like, it, to me, it's daisy love, not really. To me, it's like daisy infatuation. Like, you, you, you only want it for so long and then you, you're done with it. I mean, I've, I enjoyed it. Wearing it for about a week, I had a sample. I, I didn't buy it yet. Um, yeah, so that's what happened. It smells, it smells good. But then it doesn't do anything for me anymore. I, like, I was done with it. I was over it. Like I got it. Like, okay, we're done. Let's move on. Thank you. Next. <laughs> okay. My number 10. Okay. Oh, please don't be offended if I'm going to say this. My number 10 is by Carolina Herrera. Good girl. Why don't I like good girl? Hmm. Okay, first of all, when you spray it, it's kind of nice, the opening. When you spray it, it has that burst of fresh, sweet, fruity uh, sweetness. So it's fresh, fruity, and sweet. Very nice. It's, a, it's girly. It's feminine. You know, it's very mass appealing. Then it goes, then it dries down to this dark and dusty, chocolatey, vanilla cacao which is not so bad if you think about it but I, I don't know i guess the way it's they just did it doesn't work for me i find it too cloudy kind of i don't really know how to explain it it's just like the dry down when you smell it's just dark and cloudy and like i i would describe this perfume too as like dr jekyll and miss hyde totally different personalities with the opening and the dry down like really literally it's the it's a different perfume the opening and the dry down totally different perfume to my nose um i don't like that i mean i do like i do like how a perfume develops that's part of why i love fragrances so much but not like a dr jekyll miss hyde completely different perfume like like is are you joking me this is not what i sprayed this is not what I sprayed. Why am I getting this? Okay, it smells nice, but this is not what I sprayed. If I liked this perfume, I would have gotten something else. Like, that's, this is not what I got. So anyway, that's my list, guys. Um, I hope that you find this interesting. And once again, these are just my thoughts and opinions. I don't mean to offend anybody. If you like this per any of these perfumes, I highly respect that. And I totally get it. I totally get it if you like it. And I'm glad that it works for you. Too bad that it doesn't work for me. Um, yeah, I'm going to link. No, no, I'm not going to link. I'm going to put the list of these 10 perfumes um, in the description box and again this is not in any particular order and yeah hope to see you on my next video uh, and if you like this type of videos please let me know in the comment section below don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell button and give me a thumbs up see you guys next time bye bye